सर माई केमिकल स्टॉक इज नॉट पोइंग वट शुड आई डू सर द होल मार्केट इज टच ऑल टाइम आई बट अवर केमिकल स्टॉक इज लाइंग देयर ओनली वाई दिस केमिकल स्टॉक्स आर गोइंग डाउन द होल सेक्टर इज गोइंग डाउन वाई द होल मार्केट इज गोइंग वॉट इज द रीजन वेल दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमन क्वेश्चन आस बाई मोस्ट ऑफ अवर इन्वेस्टर एंड अवर मेम्बर्स एट वाई दिस केमिकल सेक्टर इज नॉट गोइंग एंड वाई दिस केमिकल स्टॉक्स आर नॉट परफॉर्मिंग वेल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर ईच एंड एवरी ऑफ यूर क्वेश्चन अबाउट दिस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ ब्रीफ स्टडी ऑफ केमिकल सेक्टर एंड ऑल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वन स्टॉक विच आई थिंक विल डू वेल वेन एवर दर इज अ रिकवरी गोइंग टू come which you can invest also so stay till end because we are going to talk in detail about this sector so friends welcome my name is sita bandusha welcome to my channel and please click the below link and subscribe to my channel and also guys just let me know in the comment box which chemical stock you have bought and is it moving or not just let me know and what today i am going to talk about in sector in detail so don't worry about that okay so let us start with the video and analysis so talking about that guys first we'll talk about chemical sector outlook so talking about chemical sector outlook guys if you talk about chemical sector currently the chemical sector in india is very well established and last 10 years there was a quite a bull run in chemical sector however yes from last 2 3 years it has not performed well and there are various reason i am going to talk about each and every reason in detail so first of all india is the sixth largest producer of chemicals in the world and third in asia okay of course we are behind china but yes we have a very good hold in the chemical sector also it's contributing 7% to india's gdp so it's not a small sector at all specialty chemicals is a big sector and it is contributing 7% of gdp so you can think over it as and when the recovery comes the contribution is going to go up not going to go down again it is covering almost 80000 products and employing more than 2 million people more than 20 lakh people this sector is employing and actually more than 80000 products and overall guys if you talk about last 10 years the indian chemical sector has done exceptionally well and that is one of the reason of why there were so many multi bagger stock in indian chemical sector again uh, it makes up around 3.4% of the global chemical industry that shows yes india as a chemical sector no it's playing a big part at a global chemical industry also again in future it will be a strong growth in specialty chemicals of course currently the slump is there i'm going to tell you over the reason we are there but i think in future the good recovery will be then that will be a big positive for this sector also if you talk about growth prospects so talking about growth guys uh, chemical uh, industry market if you see usd billion has grown almost 6 9.3% over the years you can see from financial year 19 it was 178% however after that you can see here such a big almost it has gone up to 304 usd billion so from almost you can say that uh, 80 90% jump was there in last 5 to 6 years okay and also in future also it is going to go up another angle you have to see here is related to chemical industry revenue share so out of that revenue you can take about 30% is to the sme and almost 70% is from the non sme so this is what the bifurcation of chemical sector will be overall so now let us talk about challenges for the sector and why the sector has not performed in the current recent time so talking about the challenges the first ch dima uh, challenge we face is that demand from latin america and europe and us has declined overall see you know that after the covid crisis not covid crisis but the geopolitical crisis because of high inflation and high crude oil prices suddenly the inflation gone up and as a result you know that europe and us literally were in a big problem and the growth process started going down and as a result the demand of products and also clothes and apparels and everything across the world gone down and as a result now the chemical sector had a big big hit during that time still it is not able to recover but yes that is a big decline in uh, due to this again another point you have to understand is the weak global demand and channel inventory destocking again as i told you that still europe is recovering of course us has recovered a lot but still the jump is not so much the one of the main reason is china i am going to talk about that but yes we global demand and channel inventory destocking is one of the factor while the chemical sector is not performed in last 1 to 2 years also due to low domestic demand in china there is a more export from china at lower prices 
see this is one of the biggest factor china you know after due to that zero covid policy they were so harsh in their economy as a result the suddenly there was a big drop in the economy again you know the real estate bubble got busted and again in chemical sector there was a weak demand because the economy was not doing well so what all the china manufacturing started doing they started exporting all the products at much more lower prices now this is where india faced a big problem india was also exporting a lot but of course when you had a, such a big competition from the china you also have to reduce the prices and the growth process also get hampered so this is what because china started export at a lower price that was a big problem again margin compression due to low material volatility now see as i told you because china is selling at a lower price you have to reduce your margin and again the margin gone down again roe roc of all the companies started going down because margin compression started and that has impacted a lot to the profitability and the demand scenario lot many uh, people lost job also so that was happening because of all this again due to oil prices gone up you know currently it is 95 dollar per barrel coal prices gone up what is the main component of chemicals is one of the component is oil you know during the russia ukraine crisis now gone to 130 so there was a big compression in the profitability because of the raw material prices started going up so that was one of the issue again transportation costs gone up because of this crisis and everything you know that oil prices gone up and again geopolitical crisis tend to impact your transportation charges so and that is because of that increase suddenly you can see overall the profitability of a chemical company started actually gone into a big big mess and that is impacted the stock prices also from last two to three years you know most of the chemical sector are stocks are down or they are in a consolidation level uh, that was happening across chemical sector again talking about specialty chemicals if you talk about uh, revenue growth revenue growth is likely to be 19 to 20 percent it was there in 2020 from here also slowly and gradually it is going to be much much better again china sees activity in 2018 which led to increase in manufacturing of specialty chemicals so one of the main reason what happened china during 2018 what happened because of environmental uh, issues and all that lot many uh, companies were banned due to the government order and there was so much of ban that that direct benefit got our Indian specialty chemical producer. Of course, they were not knowing that this thing is going to hit in future geopolitical crisis and everything. But yes, that was one of the reason. Again, CAG of 11% was revenue was there between financial level 15 to 21 for all the uh, chemi uh, specialty chemicals. So that was a big positive. Again, increasing India share in the global specialty chemical from 4 to from 3%. So slowly and gradually because of this push, no, the market share of Indian chemical companies started going much more. So this was all about specialty chemical and you can see here in future also no, there is a massive uh, jump in the capex and everything. So talking about what is the jump in the mass capex, uh, talking about that you can see Deepak Knighted, there is a jump of almost 1500 crore rupees. SRF 12,500 crore, one of the highest capex they are planning by SIF, GFL 2750, 1500 uh, from Nivea, then uh, Neojon 1500 crore. So you can see here uh, all this around PI industry also around 1300 to 1500 crore. So all these companies, even RT industry 4000 uh, crores, all these companies are planning a massive capex in chemical sector for the coming years. So that shows that yes, this overall the companies are positive for the brighter future of course there is a current slump in the stock price and everything but this will too pass as and when the economy recover i think there will be much much better recovery so this was all about the chemical sector and how the sector is going to behave in coming future but now let me talk about one stock which i think of course it is a large cap but i think it will do well over the time and you can think of buying if you want a safe investment from here and chemical sector is one of the leaders so i'm the stock which i am talking about is nothing but srf so talking about srf you know the srf is uh, actually a large cap stock okay the market cap is almost uh, 
64,000. So that is what is the market cap falls in a category of large cap. Overall, if you see the top was almost 2864 and low was around 2000, but it has done well overall. Uh, promoter is almost 50%, FI is 20%, DI is 12%, public is 17%. So yes, promoter is having the major hold of this company. Again, if you talk about the company, so the company was established in 1970. I'll just give you a small brief over that a chemical based multi business entity engaged in manufacturing of industrial and specialty intermediaries. So the company was doing quite well and the way the company has grown over the years that is commandable the way the SRF management has let the company growth over the time that shows the capability and you know hold in this chemical sector also there are almost 11 manufacturing plants in India two are there in Thailand and one are the one is there in the South Africa so almost 11 manufacturing plants in India also export to more than 75 countries so as I told you because they have such a big export now if China is dumping their chemical uh, material and everything they will face a problem and that is was the most of the companies started facing when this uh, they see the competition from China again these are the technical textile chemicals fluorochemicals and specialty chemicals they are expert in and packaging films so this is all about the company now uh, what are the key highlights of this company see basically one of the thing you have to understand there is an underlying demand for agrochemical stays and it is a big positive for the future see agrochemicals uh, arc is quite in demand and that is a big positive for the company again packaging and textile uh, technical textile segment facing sheer headwinds but slowly and gradually it will recover that is the commentary coming from the management also SRF is well poised SRF to capitalize on solid growth of chemicals segment as I told you they are already planning 12,000 crore rupees of capex in coming years that shows that they are quite confident that yes in future they will able to address all the issues which they are facing currently again there is a drop in key raw, raw material prices of course may warrant a certain price benefit so now slowly and gradually in future when the oil prices will started going down and prices will go down of course that will be a big positive for SRF now let us talk about uh, various charts so, talking about various chart you can see here that uh, price chart the price chart is almost you can see here that it is almost consolidated level over the time you can see here now it is there in the range of almost 2800 to 2000 so it is there in the range only nothing uh, going gungo about that also if you take another point is revenue growth so talking about revenue growth you can see it has gone up from 340 to 393 in financial 30 and in next two years the revenue is going to go to 440 to 492 so that is a big thing again in that you can see here the major part will be played from the chemical okay that is the major part almost 50 percent of that then comes the packaging part technical part textile and other so this is how uh, the growth will be over the time this is what the projected growth is but it looks good over the time slowly and gradually the company will be on track the demand will come back also uh, Another thing you have to understand the capex now talking about capex as i told you the company is planning big time in the on the capex so of course that is majorly they are going to allocate into uh, chemical again then packaging and technical textile so this is how the uh, basically the allocation of capex will be also if you talk about the fire capex plan so out of 15,000 crore of uh, capex that is what they are planning for next five years 12,500 will be related to chemical and others will be around 2,500 so majority will go to the chemical sector only so this but yes it is one of the massive capex if you talk about uh, any chemical company now let us talk about the ROC now what I told you that ROC of most of the company has gone down that one of the reason because of the margin compression again the slower growth and demand across China US not uh, yes US and Europe basically there and again China dumping their uh, complete material at a much much lower price and that was a biggest uh, you can say the margin compression happening so here you can see here the margin has gone down from 23 to almost 20.9 but now from next year onwards 
the margin may go up that is roc may go up from 21 to almost 21.9 percent which may slowly and gradually recover and aage ja ke bhi it may go up over the time that is what the expectation it is also if you talk about roe roe guys yes it was earlier 24.5 then 22 21.9 19.8 that is what happening in next two years but now it will come to a much more realistic roe because that type of you can see in 2018 when there was a ban in china these companies were benefited a lot and suddenly there was a big uptick on roc and roe return on equity and return on capital employed and you know how they you get it normally when the margin goes up no roe roc will go up a lot but now the margin is coming much more at a decent level and that is where no company roe is going down but somehow it will be decent similarly valuation re-rating is already happening valuation thoda niche chala gaya but going onwards i think if situation changes i think this will be in a much much better shape over the time now let us talk about key ratios now this is very important to understand why key ratios see key ratios is a uh, is a place where no where you will able to understand this company along with the competitors now what are the main key ratios for the chemical industry the first of is nothing but the p ratio now you can see p ratio of industry is 30.45 here the sr is 34 however you can see other p ratio like linde pd light now they are exactly in 80 90 percent somehow i think p ratio is okay it is above industry average but it is it warrant a little bit of premium compared to industry because it is a market leader and it is also performing very well what uh, about current cmp divided by book value it is 6.49 which you can see most of the company are having it. of course few companies are having more than 16 17 but you have to uh, they are extraordinary premium they are getting but they are there may be some reason because they are getting premium they growth and everything but what i feel at this level sr if a good quality company at 6.49 is a good one talking about debt to equity now debt to equity is 0.43 which is below one that is very good thing because see these are the uh, main ratio like current cmp divided by book value, price to book value debt to equity roe roa and net gross margin are some of the ratios you have to check it whenever you are reviewing any chemical stock i am talking about again roe is 22 you can see it is much better than pd light and any most of the current uh, companies so that is a good point so 22 roe is good roe is 12.51 which is also decent enough and gross profit margin is almost 39 yes it was much more higher earlier but now it has gone down because of uh, same reason which i told you earlier so to this is how the uh, you can say the key ratios are there so talking about uh, whether we should buy this company or not i want to tell you yes you can buy and why srf first of all it holds a strong long-term earning growth prospects even though the stock is down the future looks much much brighter from here company is planning to add six to seven dedicated plans in financial 24 so more expansion is coming and already i told you the big expansion plan of almost fifteen thousand crore is coming into picture again underlying demand of agrochemical stays which is a strong a big positive so for future when the agrochemical uh, demand comes back i think this company will be benefited a lot again the inventory rationalization is transitory in nature and once the situation normalized srf is well poised to capitalize on solid growth in the chemical cell now. so this is why the srf is the stock why i believe in that stock it's a large cap stock but a safe stock if you really want to invest for the future and i think all this go through a cycle i think this is also a downward cycle for the chemicals uh, stocks and sector but i think it is going to recover maybe in next six month one year but as a uh, as and when economy of us and europe will go up this thing is going to recover but you have to invest when the things are available cheaper to you that is where you make money correct and that is why i am telling you to you can add this stock at this current level so this is what i wanted to tell you and just type in the comment box whether you have this stock in your hand or any other chemical stock and if any stock you want to need to analyze just type in the comment box and you know you have to subscribe and do like this channel Correct. So I am going to meet you soon in the next video. Bye bye for.